Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go through all of my fall themed PDFs that I am going to be working on between now and well the end of fall. <laughs> so basically the last day of November um, for me is what I call the end of fall. So let's just begin. Now these are just the PDFs. I have a separate video for the books that I'm going to be trying to work on and then I also have a video with my favorite um, supplies that are like you know inspiring to me for fall so check those out if you'd like I'm gonna try and do this every season I just forget but first things first um, from Yana Prosperina and I will leave links to all of these Etsy stores below and then if you see anything you would like to maybe see a color along for let me know <laughs> okay so Yana Prosperina has her monthly countdown calendars, um, and I have the October one here printed on my Hammer Mill 80-pound um, color color copy, yeah, cover. <laughs> it's a lot to say, uh, and I use markers on these little countdown calendars because it's good marker practice for me. And you just belt one out in a day. Um, right now. The November one isn't showing on her store. I sent her a message, but you can buy the three pack that includes September, October, November. However, I had already bought them separate. So the November one was there like literally a couple days ago. So maybe by the time you see this, November will be there, but I will be buying November and obviously printing that out and coloring it. Okay, another one from Yana is this one here. This is called Herbal Tea. She had come out with three new ones on her Etsy store just a little bit ago and I bought all three because <laughs> well I have problems. I love her. She's one of my favorite artists. Um, so yeah this is Herbal Tea. Isn't that so cute? And you should see the way she's colored it. It's amazing. All right this is Forest Hat and all of these by the way come in line art, dark gray scale, and light gray scale. This one I'm actually gonna do as a buddy color with Erica from Elm Colors. I like this one though, she's like an edgy woodland elf. She's got nose and lip piercings. I mean, the spider hanging off her mushroom cap is a little, a little creepy, but it's perfect. And then I have this one. Oh, there's no name to this one. I'll have to look up the name of it, but I'm, <clears throat> Instead of linking to each PDF image, because that would take me all day, I will just leave links to each artist's um, store page, and then you'll find these easy peasy. But yeah, that's from Yana Prosperina as well. Okay, then from Rena, she's also known as Color Books, Coloring Books 2020. I have printed out this one here. I thought this one was really cute. Um, I did print it on tan toned paper. And so if you're wondering why some are white, some are on tan toned. Um, if it's printed on white, that usually means I want to really do a background to it or the hair. <laughs> like I plan on really highlighting the hair. Um, when I do tan toned, uh, it's usually an element on the page has jumped out at me that I want to stand out more. So that's what I plan to color the most. And colors really pop on the tan toned paper. Not to say that her hair won't be done all cute. It's just um, I really wanted to emphasize more of the elements. So like on this one, while the hair would be fun, <laughs> um, her hat and the book are actually the reason I bought this one. So yeah, that's why this is on tan toned. Okay, also from Rena on tan toned is this one. This is an older image, actually, um, the next two you're about to see. And by old, I mean that they weren't released, like, this month. <laughs> so, um, again, tan tone because all these little bottles are what kind of, like, drew me to this picture. Here we have this one, which is so adorable. Um, I was actually drawn in by this little platter of goodies. So I will be doing this one, but the hair as well. Oh, look at the curls. Yeah, it was it was hard to decide between a white or a tan toned, but I decided to go tan toned. All right. Now I have just one from Lana Green, 
Um, and this is, I forget the name of it. I think it's called like Harvest or something. But as you can see, I did it on white paper because one, I can just think of so many background ideas, but the hair, oh, the hair. I mean, look at this. You can do this in November. You know, you don't have to do all these just in October. Okay. And then from a newer or new to me artist um, that I had found not too long ago. So these are bent because they're fresh off the press. Uh, this is from Lou Art Dreams. And I printed this one because I loved all the fall leaves, but also I am just going to love coloring her hair. Now this artist style is very sketchy. Uh, and by, you know, I'll show you in a minute what I mean. <laughs> so I have that one. And then I printed this one. See, very sketchy. You can see the lines of pencil shading. Nothing wrong with it. Um, just keep that in mind. Her grayscale is more sketchy scale, as I like to call it. But this one looked really fun to do. And again, there there's a background here, and it'd be a lot easier to fill in um, on white than tan toned. This one, I was torn if I should do tan toned or not, but I ended up going with a white paper. But this will be fun. I could use some distress ink or um, you know something else to do the background pretty quick and the wood paneling, but I just love to look on her face, mischievous. So, and then this is another one from her. I did on tan toned, but it was because of the leaves, just all oh, the leaves and these berries are just gonna be so pretty. That said, the hair, I'm gonna have so much fun with this hair. Oh, yes. Okay. So next, we have um, Zindi from Zindi Zone on Etsy. I bought this a long time ago and never printed it. It's some, it's called Scars something. And it's not even like a Halloween necessarily image. It's just, it's very goth and dark. And that's why I printed it on the white. Because I think the background could be done. Kind of like give her a just a depressing glow, <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous artwork from her. Okay, now I have purchased all three of the Minikins books on um, Micah Jen Jelena, I always get her name wrong, uh, on her Etsy. I bought all three. She's actually really cool because I had accidentally bought number one twice and I was like, hey, any chance I could just swap for the other one? <laughs> And she let me. So awesome artist. But this one is from one of her Minikins books called Belladonna. And I mean, this just screams Halloween. I did print it on my normal cardstock and not marker paper. But so I may go back and change it. I don't know, though. I was thinking I would do this one with uh, pencil. So that was that one. Okay. Then I have just one Christine Caron. Now I have had this image for at least two years because this was in my batch last fall. I know that for a fact. So I've had it at least, well, I guess I should say at least a year. Um, this is Lady Witch in grayscale, and it's also in her book. So you don't necessarily have to buy the PDF if you already have one of her books. I can't remember which one has it. But I do want to try and get this one done this year. I may switch this to tan toned paper. I'm not sure. I had printed this a long time ago out on the white. Okay, here is one from Daria Draws, also known as Daria. I cannot say her last name. Um, she's on Etsy as Coloring Chicks, and this is called November Rain. Uh, I printed this on the tan toned again because I really wanted to emphasize some of the elements like these leaves, this tree, and her outfit. Um, this is also in one of her later, or her latest printed books. Um, I think book number six has it. I can't, don't quote me on that, but I'm really excited to try and get this one done this year because this came, that one had come out last year for November. Okay, then I have what's called the Boho Witch, and this is by Dawn Davidson, and I've had this one for two years because I printed this two falls ago, and I still haven't colored it. Um, I may reprint it on tan-toned, 
or just leave it on the white since I've already used the cardstock. But it is so cool looking. I mean, this hair and all the little doodads in it are going to take me quite a while, but I'm really excited to do this one. Okay. Last but certainly not least is the Little Creatures series. I have part one and part two. These are from Rain. Now, she is not on Etsy right now because she is from Russia and her store was, you know, temporarily disabled. She does have her stuff um, on a private site. And then she does also have her Patreon, but um, I, I'll link to her Patreon, I guess. But some of these images are really fun to do for like fall and even Halloween. Um, I mean, like right there, because they just have like a very creepy vibe to them. All of them do. <laughs> and you can make them even creepier if you want. But like this one right here, I've seen done for Halloween. This one, not necessarily creepy, but yeah, just quite a few of these have a, like this one with the horns. Okay, and then this book, Husky Fur, part two. I actually colored that one for Christmas. I turned it into a little elf um, last year. This one, I always find like super creepy. But yeah, a few of these would be great, like for Halloween. I mean, come on, she's got a button eye button eye patch. Oops, blank page. This one would be great for like Halloween as well. She's got her little stitch doll. So yeah, there's a couple in here I want to do. This would be great for fall because of the bird and the bear uh, leaves and all that. So yeah, that is it for my fall PDFs. Again, these are just the PDFs. Take a look uh, for my videos on books I plan to focus on as well as my favorite fall coloring pencil sets. Um, now, am I going to finish all of these this fall? No. <laughs> this is just stuff I want to work on. So I basically pile these together and I leave them in my art studio. And so I just only pull from these for the month or the next couple months. All right. Well, I'd love to hear what Etsy PDFs you'll be working on this fall, if any. And of course, if you want to see any of these colored on camera, let me know because that helps me choose a little faster and more efficiently. So until next time, everyone, take care. Bye now.